Belize is the first in the Caribbean and Latin America to hold a national dialogue as part of the UNDP and UNAIDS Global Commission on HIV and the law that was launched in June 2010. The focus is to, quote, develop actionable, evidence-informed and human rights-based recommendations for effective HIV responses, end quote, that will protect and promote human rights of people living with and those vulnerable to HIV. Caroline Reynolds is the executive director of Win Belize. Yes, we have developed policies. We have um, some laws that are on the books, but we are also seeing how we can um, analyze these laws and make changes that will assist these groups when they access the services. UNDP is providing its support, and HIV policy specialist David Ruiz says the effort is vital in the fight against HIV as the epidemic is not only a health issue. Uh, the social and cultural and the economic uh, context impacts directly to the vulnerability and to the risk of people to HIV. For example, we know that here in Latin America and well, some parts uh, in the Caribbean region, uh, the most affected population are those who suffered, uh, who historically suffered the uh, stigma and discrimination. For example, uh, gay people, transgender, sex worker, um, drug user, people living in prison, are person or are groups of persons that are very vulnerable and are at risk or to the HIV infection, not only because of health um, issue, but especially because of the social, cultural context, which is um, this population are being stigmatized, discriminalized, etc., etc. And well, I think that we can, we have to focus if we want to halt and reverse the epidemic. We have to focus on those uh, vulnerable and those at more risk to do, to HIV. As part of the initiative, three persons have been selected to be at the forefront to champion the cause in Belize. Kate Esquivel, Dr. Carla Barnett, and Special Envoy for Women and Children, Kim Simples Barrow. HIV greatly affects the two populations I already advocate on behalf of women and children. In June of this year, along with stakeholders from the government and civil society, I traveled to New York for the UN General Assembly high-level meeting on HIV and AIDS. While there, I formally joined a campaign to fight mother-to-child transmission by signing the first spouse's declaration of commitment for the elimination of mother-to-child transmission of HIV. <coughs> so I also have in essence doubled my personal commitment and stand ready with all of you to do what I can to advocate for the changes necessary to reduce and halt the spread of HIV in Belize. The dialogue initiates the development of a national action plan to strengthen the human rights-based approach on HIV in Belize. Dalilay Kal for Love News.